Hi, today's video is a basic guide to hamsters. Hamsters have been a popular pet for quite a long time, but historically some of their needs have been misunderstood. They have an average lifespan of one and a half to two and a half years, and they are solitary animals that must be kept alone. It is possible to keep a pair of dwarf siblings together, but this still often ends up in fights, so it's really recommended not to. The first thing you need for your hamster is a cage. Sadly, many of the cages sold in shops are actually too small for hamsters to live in, so lots of new owners can be caught out by this. The minimum space that hamsters need is 80 by 50 centimetres of unbroken floor space. This is regardless of which species of hamster you have, they all need the same amount of space. Though female Syrians can be a little bit more needy and do better with a bit more. There are a number of cages available that meet these sizes, though some people prefer to give a tank instead. A popular tank is the Detolf from Ikea, which you would need to build a safe lid for to use. Next you need to decide on the substrate. Wood shavings are not good for hamsters, so you're left with a choice of different brands of paper beddings. Hamsters need to be able to dig, so we'll need the base of their cage or at least a few inches of their tank completely filled with bedding. Beddings that are not safe for hamsters include fabrics, cotton wool or kapok fluffy bedding. All of these pose a huge risk and have been known to cause fatalities in hamsters. Now let's cover accessories. The first thing all hamsters need is an upright wheel to run in. Syrians need a wheel of at least 28 centimetres, where dwarfs need one of at least 20 centimetres. This is important to stop their backs from arching. Other accessories are water bottles, wooden hides, wooden ledges, a hammock and a sand bath and any wooden toys. This is a selection of possibilities, you don't have to have every single one of these. Things you should avoid include plastic, rope or wood that's been painted. Lastly, let's cover their diet. For their main diet, hamsters need a combination of a pellet lab block type feed and a good quality muesli mix. It is good to scatter feed this to encourage natural foraging behaviour. Hamsters love to collect food and stash it, so don't be surprised on clean out day if you find a few piles hidden in their bedding. On top of this, there is a wide range of foods that hamsters can eat as a treat or as a little bit of extra variety. There are lots of lists of safe foods to be found online, but the main thing to remember is to always give tiny pieces of them. Hamsters have very small stomachs and you want to avoid them stashing any fresh foods as they could go mouldy hidden under their bedding. Now that you have the basics, the last thing to mention is to register your hamster with an exotic specialist vet so they'll get the best possible care if they get sick or injured. Don't forget to check your local rescues for any hamsters in need of a loving home. Thanks for watching.